Hello, I'm Rob Martinez, state historian of New Mexico. Let's talk New Mexico history. New Mexican food. Is there better food in the world? I don't think so. One of the best ways to learn about ourselves, to learn about our history and our culture, is by looking at our food. I used to teach high school history at Rio Rancho High. And one of the things I would do in teaching world history and the Colombian exchange was I would ask the kids, do you like pizza? Of course. Everyone raised their hand. I said, how about pepperoni pizza? I would raise my hand with them. And I'd tell them, look, let's look at pepperoni pizza. The bread crust is European. Uh, the cheese uh, comes from cows, that's European. But the tomato sauce, that comes from the Americas. And then you have uh, garlic, salt, um, these different ingredients from the Americas and from Europe, from Italy. And then the pepperoni, that beautiful cured meat, that's from Italy. But the red paprika, that delicious uh, oil you get on your hands, uh, that comes from the Americas. Before 1492, uh, pepperoni would have been white or a uh, beige color, something like that. Not that beautiful deep red that looks so uh, delicious and enticing. So that was a lesson I'd give. Well, a couple of uh, years ago, I was at La Chosa in Santa Fe eating and I ordered a plate of carne adobada. And I looked at it and I thought, what does this tell us about New Mexico and our culture and food here? tells us a lot. Well, first, the carne adobada are chunks of pork marinated in red chili. Well, the pork comes from Spain, but the chili comes from Mexico, from Mexico to the south. Garlic from Spain. So it's already a mix there. There were uh, frijoles, beans, pinto beans. That's from the Puebloan people. Pozole. Hominy, that's Mexican and Native American. Again, corn, a staple of Native peoples throughout the Americas. And then chopped lettuce from Europe and chopped tomatoes from the Americas. It's mestizo food. It's mixed, like us. So right there on a plate is a history of our brilliant uh, multicultural history here in New Mexico. So then I started thinking of other foods that I grew up with, um, things like, bueno, fideos. Fideos are uh, spaghetti uh, noodles that are uh, toasted in a skillet. Then uh, tomatoes are added, uh, salt, some garlic. Uh, this is mixed food as well. Uh, pasta from Italy, tomatoes from the Americas. And you can find this in Mexico, uh, sopa de fideos. Um, how about tamales? I love tamales. And that's part of our history too. Um, the earliest uh, mention that I'm aware of in uh, New Mexico records of tamales is 1695, when Diego de Vargas, his second in command, Juan Paez Hurtado, brings colonists to New Mexico from Zacatecas, Mexico. In the documents, he says that he brings with him um, tamaleras, they're women who make tamales from Zacatecas, and they're part Spanish and part African. They're of mixed ancestry. So the romantic in me likes to think that this is when we start eating tamales in New Mexico. But look at tamales. The uh, cornmeal, the masa, that's from the Americas. Um, it's usually um, in New Mexico filled with red chili, Mexican origin, and pork, Spanish origin. And they're wrapped in the corn husk and steamed Mexican dim sum, okay? Uh, delicious with salt, you can't beat it, and red chili. Um, in, at least to, for me, the, in more modern times, you can find them with chicken from Spain and green chili from Mexico. Um, green chili, um, chicken, tamales. And for you vegetarians, calabacitas, squash from the Pueblo people with green chili from Mexico. And again, masa from the Americas. Um, these are delicious 
uh, food that are consumed by all New Mexicans and can be found in Mexico, Central America. They're universal. Uh, they're part of uh, the Americas. They're truly American food in the broadest sense of the word. Uh, you can find them uh, in the South. Uh, they're wrapped in banana leaves and sometimes they're, they have pineapple, other uh, tropical fruits. Uh, delicious. So how about um, things like some of our desserts? Um, natillas. That just means little cream, not that. Natillas. Um, you can find natillas in Spain. You can find them in Mexico and you find them in New Mexico. Uh, it's like a vanilla custard with meringue on top and cinnamon. Again, a mix of different cultures. Uh, we have uh, panocha. That's uh, supposed to be a colonial food. It's a, a dessert, really. It's candy. It's wheat candy. It's gooey and chewy and sweet for kids, old and young. And um, it's not one of my favorites, but it's it, it's uh, 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 one of the New Mexican uh, desserts that can still be found here. Um, what else uh, in New Mexico? Uh, biscochito, bizcocho. Uh, in Italy, they're biscotti. It just means twice cooked. Uh, in the olden days, in the Vargas period, the 1600s, 1700s, it was hardtack. It was just bread that lasted a long time. You needed it to travel and survive on. But in New Mexico, they become these uh, delicious cookies that have sugar and cinnamon um, influences, probably from the Moors uh, brought to Mexico and then to New Mexico. Arroz con leche, I grew up eating that too. Uh, this is sweet rice with milk and raisins that are cooked till everything's nice and soft and then a cinnamon is put on top. So another food that might go back to uh, North Africa or the Middle East and brought to Spain and then to the Americas. All of these foods can be found in Mexico too, but they're also part of our New Mexico, New Mexico cuisine. Our tortillas are white flour tortilla. In Mexico, tortillas tend to be cornmeal, and they're delicious, especially when you uh, go to the markets, the mercados in Mexico City or Zacatecas. It's a white cornmeal. They're soft. They're, they're uh, delicious. They're warm. Uh, they'll put uh, uh, refried frijoles on them with some uh, Oaxacan queso, uh, real salty. It's delicious. In New Mexico, just like in parts of northern Mexico, our tortillas are traditionally made with uh, wheat flour. Um, some people say it's because the Spanish refused to eat corn. That might be true. It also might have just been what's available. Um, we also have corn tortillas here. Uh, again, that's a universal food, a flatbread that all cultures have. Whenever I see a show on TV, on Netflix, about food from around the world, and it shows India uh, where they making a chickpea flatbread or something. I'm like, well, every culture has their tortilla, right? Um, and of course, they have their own perspective, but it's true. It's quite amazing. So what else are sopapillas, are sopapillas here in New Mexico? Um, they're delicious. They might be connected to um, a French dessert that you could find in Louisiana, in New Orleans. I'm not sure that might have been where that came from to New Mexico. Um, but we do know that the Americans also influence our food. It's fried bread, essentially, and it puffs up because of baking powder, uh, baking soda, these different uh, elements that the Americans introduced to New Mexico. When I was growing up, we would go to Mora and we'd have queso, uh, the fresh cow's milk cheese in a cake that was delicious. Uh, we would drizzle it with uh, maple syrup from a, from a jar, but I would like to think in the olden days it was drizzled with local honey. But we don't know, I don't know. But this queso fresco that we know, that's what it's called in Mexico, we have that here. Uh, it's also made with sheep's milk. And I always loved when they would bring out nata, that's the cream that would rise to the top, and you'd get a piece of tortilla, and you would eat it on the tortilla and it was sweet, cold, and creamy and amazing, amazing. There's so many other foods I could talk about, but let's talk about where we are now, here in the United States in New Mexico. Well, we have, uh, in my family, and I think a lot of families, we celebrate Thanksgiving, a great American holiday. We have turkey and ham and mashed potatoes and yams and uh, all kinds of delicious corn and green beans. But now we don't just put gravy on this food. We drizzle it with 
chile colorado, red chili. So that's the cultures and foods blending. How about a green chili cheeseburger? This is a great American food, a cheeseburger with pieces of roasted green chili and salt and garlic, and it is so good to eat. It's truly American food. Well, that's it for now. I'm hungry. I'm Rob Martinez. I'll see you next time. I'm going to go get a green chili cheeseburger. Adios. Thank you.